It is magic review time. That's right, my friends. Welcome back. My name is Luke Dancy. What's shaking, friends? Very excited this week to bring you a review of the Destination Box from John Allen. Now, this release has been out before. It is now new again. It's hitting the market again. So to a lot of you, this might be familiar. For those of you that haven't seen it, you're going to love it. You're going to love this. So on this review, my friends, we're going to give you the breakdown of what it is, what it does, who it's for, how easy it is to do, and everything in between. So let's kick it off with what the heck is this thing? Well, it's a box. This one's called a destination box. And it allows you to perform a signed card to impossible location routine using this guy, obviously. So there's an object inside the box that the card appears inside of. Now, before you get ahead of yourself, I want to remind you that with a lot of the boxes where the card appears inside of it, the spectators can't handle the object before it appears inside of it. More specifically, the object that someone's holding where the card appears can't be examined. This can. So that alone is a really big step ahead with the sign card and possible plot. So uh, this one allows you to do that. And also not just a sign card, but you can have other objects appear inside of here. You could also use it as a switching device. And all of that is taught in detail on the instructional, but the main routine here that's being shared is the signed card that appears inside of an object that's been in the box the whole time. So let's talk about the prop itself. Well, I just mentioned it is examinable, which is great um, because it makes it to where people can handle it. And the best part for me is that the clasp on the front, it's got a lock. Now the lock obviously makes it to where someone can't get inside of it before you want them to. A lot of the effects on the market don't let you do that either. The other reason that's nice is because Without giving away too much detail, the fact that you have to grab a key to unlock the lock, put the lock away, and then come back to the routine to where you show the card, it's all routined in a way to where the quote unquote dirty work is happening in a very natural way because, well, you gotta get the lock off and you gotta get the key out. So everything that's happening in between makes sense. So yeah, the quality here is great. Uh, there are the props, everything you need is included. Just start performing this right away. I do want to say that uh, you get that. And of course, you also have the instructional link, which you would watch if you purchase the effect. The box itself, it's got a nice little beautiful felt inlay on there. Very nice to see there. And also the box itself has a nice weight to it. And it's got the clasp. And of course, you've got the lock that you put on there too. Now, the other thing that's cool about it is this box is not too, too big. I'm just going to kind of give you a little Look there, you can see it fits basically in the palm of my hand. As you will see in the video with John Allen, this is something he uses in walk around situations. You can see he's in a restaurant setting, he's wearing a jacket, and basically what you need to perform this, you can keep on you during a walk around situation. And you just put the box away right there. So it gives you a better idea of the size of the box. So you can see here, he's just uh, opened up the box, he's poured out the contents, and inside of the tin that is inside of the box is the signed card right there. Now, the cool part about this too is if you want, when you dump out the objects and you have them pick one of them, when they end up getting down to the tin, you can open it up and have them take the card out of the tin. You cannot have people take the card out of the objects normally where the card appears. So that's another big plus for me with this. Um, not only that, but also the fact that this is something you can do walk around. You could also use this in a stand up or parlor setting. And it does have the blessing from Tommy Wonder who was one of the people that really made the card to impossible object, like a box, very, very popular. Here's a closer look at the box itself. You can see it there. And John Allen is a professional in every sense of the word. And the other nice thing is you can see they were just flashing through some different card designs. This is not just for bicycle playing cards. If you have a specific design that you like, it works with any design of playing card that you want to use with the destination box. So a beautiful box, very versatile, and workable for the walk around performer. And a lot of you out there do that, so I know that is important to you. Uh, a couple other questions I had is who is it for? Obviously, I just mentioned walk around performers, close up people, parlor setting, uh, in a stand up kind of setting, this would play just fine. So it's pretty much good for most of the friends out there watching this, I would assume. Uh, the quality of the props, we already told you how, how nice they are. And again, remember that, that it's examinable. It is an examinable prop, which makes it a solid, solid pick for you. Uh, the other thing is the difficulty level. 
The difficulty level for this one is not bad at all. I'm gonna jump back over here to see John performing this. He's using this as part of like an ambitious card routine. You can see the card appearing in his mouth. Um, basically, you can incorporate this into any card routine you're doing where there's a card that is signed. And this is the perfect way to end that routine. So without getting into too many details, the one extra thing I wanted to mention here is, yes, you will need to be able to perform a Mercury Fold. Uh, and that is something that he also goes over in detail. And John also gives you a very nice tip on how to do the Mercury Fold even easier, uh, which I think is nice that he shared here. Uh, a way to kind of prepare the situation to where it makes the fold basically happen by itself. So that's also shared here in the instructional. So you're getting a lot of teaching. I think the it's well over an hour, because I watched it. I know it's at least an hour uh, from John. And he shares a lot of different ideas and routines along with you know, the basic sign card to bond routine. So there you go. I'm gonna keep this one short and sweet. The quality is here with the prop and the effect that you get. Uh, as you saw in the trailer, the reactions speak for themselves. And as you know, a signed card that appears somewhere that it shouldn't is really, really powerful stuff for the real people out there in the real world. So this one retails for 200 bucks. We've got it at the All Things Magic shop. We got a link in the description. And don't forget, we do offer shop pay and after pay. So if you want to break up your payments into four, you make the first payment today and we're able then to ship the product to you right away and you make the rest of the payments like every other week. So it's not too shabby. So I wanted to mention those options for you because I know $200 is an investment. As I just mentioned, this is not something you just spend like a deck of cards. So we do want to make it as easy as possible for you. And right now, just for you, as of the filming of this review, we are running a very special deal on all orders at allthingsmagic.com to save 15% on your order. That's right. Uh, the Golden Knights, the Vegas Golden Knights, we just won the Stanley Cup. So your promo code is Stanley Cup. So use that code when you check out with us and you'll save 15% on your order. And that does include the destination box. You can even save a few bucks while you're picking up your magic. So that's it, my friends. If you have any other questions, as always, with this or any of the products we review, drop them in the comments below. Very happy to take care of that for you. We'll get in there and answer those for you. Uh, but that's it. Another magic review in the can. If you like what you saw, don't forget to show some love out there and let us know. And uh, we will catch you on the next video. And don't forget to use that discount code, not just for the destination box, but anything that you want to get at the All Things Magic website. Uh, every product on our website has been handpicked. It's been filtered. It's only the best of the best for you. So you are in good hands, my friends. And that's our review for the Destination Box. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. So check it out today. And uh, yeah, I will catch you all in our next video. And don't forget, we also do our live streams every Tuesday night, 8.30 Eastern Time. It's our Taco Tuesday, Magic Extravaganza. We're doing magic reviews. We're talking about magic tricks, giving you a chance to win free stuff. So if you haven't watched those yet, it's right here on our YouTube channel and on our Facebook page. Just look up All Things Magic and we will see you there. I'm gonna have some more fun with the Destination Box. I'm gonna get out of here. Thanks for watching, my friends, and I will see you all in the next video. But in the meantime, have a blast with your magic. Don't forget to practice and have fun with it. At the end of the day, that's really what this stuff should be all about. Catch you guys next time. See ya. See ya, see ya, see ya. See ya, see ya, see ya. Peace.